When I think of the name Jeff, I don't immediately think creepy, crazy killer. I think of him more as like my neighbor that I can borrow sugar from. What is going on, Draw2 Crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. And today we are going to be tackling another creepypasta character. This time it is Jeff the killer. Before we begin, if you're brand new to this channel, welcome here. I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. All right, you guys. So for this tutorial, we are continuing our Halloween theme and we are doing another creepypasta character. Uh, I already did Slenderman in a previous video, which you can check out below. Now we are doing Jeff the killer. Again, you guys, because it is creepypasta, there isn't like one definitive look for Jeff the Killer. There's like different variations depending on which Jeff the Killer type story that you've read. So this is my version, the one that I sort of put all of the stories that I read online, put it all together. This is what I think uh, Jeff the Killer looks like. This is my interpretation anyway. There are lots of different variations of Jeff out there, so feel free to modify this tutorial to your specifications, whatever you guys want to do. All right, so here are the tools that you are going to need for this tutorial. If you want more information about my art tools, I have a list that you can check out in the description of this video. There are three things that you guys need to keep in mind as you are watching. If you are a subscriber, you already know how it goes. If not, pause it now to read this list of things that you should know before you begin. Having said all of that, you guys grab your drawing tools. Let's draw Jeff the killer. All right, for this tutorial, I've got my paper in portrait mode. We're going to be drawing Jeff the killer pretty much just uh, up to mid um, mid chest here. So uh, the face is going to be fairly big. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys are first going to draw a circle about this big. A little bit higher up than center of my page here. So there you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the, the side of the face coming to a point here at the bottom. And here's the chin right there. Okay, so there is our initial head that we are going to start with. And now, fairly easy, straightforward, like facial features. Uh, the first thing, of course, is let me erase this first eye line. And then beneath that is going to be the mouth. And the mouth is going to be, I'm going to start right here because he does have that Glasgow smile, which goes from side to side. There's the top. And the bottom is going to be right here. Okay, there you go. So there's the smile and here are the eyes. And I'm going to draw buttons for the eyes. I could draw that right now. And there you go. And then we're going to have like a dark circle, shaded circle around the eyes like this. Okay, so there we have it. I could even draw the center of the eyes right now. There you go. Looks deranged. Looks crazy. Okay, there we are. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to start by drawing the hair and we're going to draw a hood over this whole thing. So what I'm going to do is kind of just draw where the part of the hair is going to go on my Jeff. And this is going to be slightly influenced by the anime drawings of Jeff the Killer that you can see on the internet. Um, but it's not quite anime either. Okay, so this is going to cover a little bit of the eye like this. Okay, so here's my forehead right here, right? So from here goes to the side here. So he's going to have like this dark black hair covering uh, parts of his face. Okay, so I'm just going to do that for now. Now I'm going to draw where I want the hood to go and cover. And it's going to be right here. I kind of want the hood here going across like that. Okay, so there's, there's where I want my hood for now. Okay, so this whole thing right here is going to be covered by the hood. Okay, and he does wear a white hoodie in a lot of the images of him. He wears like this crazy looking white hoodie. Okay, now I'm going to draw a little bit of the neckline here. It actually comes to a point because of the hoodie. Just like that. Okay, and then now above the eyes, here we have the eyes. I'm going to find the shoulder kind of going going down like this. So he's kind of hunched over. Okay, and this one a little bit higher up right here. So there we've got Jeff hunched over, ready to 
kill or pounce. Okay. A little bit crooked looking. And I like that. I did this with my other creepy pasta drawing, my rendition of Slender Man. You can check that out in the description of this video if you guys haven't done that yet. Um, just the crooked shoulders make it look very, to me, it looks creepy. Okay. So now let's draw the top of the hood. So it sort of goes up, rounded, and then down. Okay, so here's the top of the hood. And what we want to do is we want to bring this line, this is the hood, right? We're going to bring it to here. And then the same thing here, this goes like that. So there's our hood. Okay. Now let's draw the hair coming out of the, the hood. Let me zoom in. So this is where it's sort of anime inspired. So I'm going to draw anime like hair. And there you go. And the hood sort of comes around like this. Okay. And then same thing here. Here goes like this sort of covers this part of the face. I'm going to have the hair kind of go like that. Okay, so comes out of the hood that way. If I erase this, then you guys get a clear idea of how the hair goes. Okay, that's not all you guys. In a lot of the reference photos, Jeff's hair is pretty long. So I'm going to maintain that look and I'm going to have the hair sort of come out from behind him going over kind of over the, the, the hoodie here. So it just goes like this. So you guys see this is part of his hair as well. Hair coming out like this. There you go. So very, again, very anime inspired, spiky looking hair. So it's all coming from the hood. So you guys see the hood and you see the hair coming out of the hood. Okay. Well, we haven't really gone to the face. So let's start uh, drawing the face in now. And the first thing is the eyes. The eyes are going to be like these donut shapes with this black shadow around it. And you guys notice that the black shadow kind of gets bigger as you go uh, further away from center. So it's closer here and gets bigger on this part. There you go. You guys can even like draw these cracks that go into the eyeball there, giving it like a more deranged, crazy look. So. You guys see what I did? Just like that. Okay. Now let's draw the Glasgow smile. Essentially a smile that goes from ear to ear. So let's draw the top first. I'm not going to draw the nose on this version. Um, because in the creepypasta story, uh, he did like burn his face with either bleach or acid. I don't remember which one, but uh, essentially burned his nose off. Okay, so there's, there's the top part and then here's the bottom. I'm gonna keep the bottom a little bit lighter because what I wanna do is I want like some blood to come down as well. And let's draw the chin. There you go. So let's draw teeth. I'm going to draw a line going down the center here. From here, going down the middle. And essentially, we're going to draw normal human teeth. First, the front two. Okay, and then two on each side. And then the canine teeth. Canine teeth are a little bit sharper. 
And you guys notice that I'm not touching the top part. So I'm just kind of leaving it not, not touching like the top part of the lip here. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do a few more. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So you guys notice that the teeth get smaller as you go further uh, away from the center. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with the bottom teeth, starting with the these here again. I'm not going to touch the bottom line. One, two, three, four, okay, five, six, right there. And then seven, eight, nine, ten. You guys notice also that the teeth are not like they don't align together. They're not like this. Okay, they, they don't look like that. The top teeth and the bottom teeth are slightly off from each other, just like normal teeth are. The teeth don't exactly align. They sort of, they're, they're different. They don't just go from here straight down. They go, they go, they don't align one on top of the other. I hope you guys understand what I mean, but that's how it is with teeth. That's it, zoomed in. You can pause it if you guys need a little bit more of a reference. Once I have that, you guys, what I'm going to do is darken the gums. So I'm gonna shade this in. This is all gonna be black. There you go. And then the bottom here, I'm going to kind of draw as we did with Venom, just lots of saliva coming down. Okay, there you go. So a little bit of spit coming down from the side here. Okay, when you guys ink this, it's best to ink it with a, not with smooth lines, but with like crooked lines because it just makes it a little bit more, um, less, less smooth. It just makes it look scarier, rougher, the rougher it looks. There you go. So now I'm just kind of adding random strands of hair. Hair inside like this. For the most part, I'm probably going to color that in black. Actually, I might not. But he does have some black hair. There you go. So just keep working at it. And erase this part. This part here, like the hoodie part. And there you go, there's our Jeff face. Now let's kind of work on the blood stained white hoodie that he has. So, um, first, let's separate the arms. So, just draw two lines separating the chest and the arms. So, here we are. there and there. I'm not going to draw a hand or a knife or anything like that. Feel free to do so if you want. I'm going to leave it just with his hands down. And actually, before we get to the, the, the sweater part, let's go back to the hood. I'm just going to draw these two seams like this, like a hood, hood seams. And then I'm going to double up on this line here. Okay, so here we have the neck. The hood kind of comes together over here. And here we have the, the strings for the hoodie. One there, another one here. Let's make one longer than the other. That just, the less symmetrical it looks, the creepier it, it looks as well. So one string is longer than the other, like this. We could even have the string, you know, um, have some blood stains on the string itself. And you could have it dripping blood as well. Okay, so there you go. There's 
there's Jeff. Now we're just gonna draw a few curves, like um, folding fabric curves. And I'm just being very big strokes here of the fabric. I'm not really paying super close attention to it, but just the way that I like to draw it is I like to draw these curves like this. There you go. And seam here, seam for the arm here. And then lastly, I guess what you can do is you can add blood stains on his hoodie. So large stain. I'm going to start off with large stains first. Okay, overlap them. Very random shaped blood stains. Maybe a couple more around. Okay, there we are. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Move this up. So that's how I do the blood stains, you guys. Just these overlapping each other like this, very varying in shape. If you go over it, then it sort of gives that illusion of uh, edges that are bleeding or that are like, I don't know how to describe it. It's um, edges that are sort of flowing. Okay. And then at the bottom of these, you can draw like the, the blood coming down. So where it, the blood would pool, draw blood coming down from them. There. Okay. And then blood spatter. Various shapes and sizes of just blood. And some of them are like long, some are rounded. You could have them overlap each other, right? So draw as much as you want. There's no right or wrong here. Draw as much blood spatter as you feel you need to make Jeff look like a killer. And then once you're done, that is it. Fairly simple. It's not the hardest drawing to do. And again, you guys, this is my own rendition. I know there's a lot of different looks for Jeff the Killer out there. Um, sometimes he's drawn with nose. Sometimes he's, you know, he's got lips. Sometimes he doesn't. There you go. You can even shape this so that it looks like he's got a bit of a bridge. And there we go. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this uh, Halloween tutorial. I've got more coming up, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care, you guys. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of the pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. If you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe, all of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description. So always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. And till then, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.